toes till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I so I hope this lighting isn't like too bad. But I want to hop on here and give you guys a little story time. So I'm just hanging out on the floor and the baby's napping. Check out my monitor. Um, and basically, I just want to sit down and talk about what happened yesterday. Because I had a lot of people like DM me and message me asking if we're okay and stuff. So, <sighs> just yesterday was <clears throat> a shit show to say the least. So basically, I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys wanted to hear the story time, and literally every single person said yes. So we're gonna do the story time. So if you don't know, yesterday Colorado had the most bizarre weather ever. When I say ever, like it was literally snowing, it was raining, it was extremely windy. I'm pretty sure they were like saying it was like hurricane winds. Um, it was horrible. Luckily, down in where we are in Colorado Springs, we didn't get as much snow as like up north did, but like we still got some snow and the rain and snow mixed together. Oops. <laughs> our rain and snow mixed together made our whole driveway a sheet of ice, like literally just a sheet of ice. So let's start from Wednesday morning. So Cameron went to work Wednesday morning. Um, I'm pretty sure he like left the house probably like four o'clock, got there, went to guard mount, everything. And then after guard mount, they ended up telling Cameron to go home. So luckily though, because a lot of the gates were closed, they um, end up just sending him home. So he came home, um, he ended up going back to sleep, whatever. I was like confused, but whatever. Like there was no snow, there was no rain, nothing when I woke up. So when I woke up that morning, kind of just did our normal routine, whatever, got ready, got dressed, fed Landon, yada yada. Me and Cameron were sitting on the couch. Landon was taking a nap. I was working from home. I was on the couch working from home. Cameron was playing Xbox with a friend. And then all of a sudden we saw our light flicker. We're like, oh, <laughs> oh. Um, but we didn't think anything of it because that's happened before where our lights flickered, but it never actually, like, power never went out. So Cameron was like, oh, I, I swear I'll be so mad if it goes out during my game. Next thing you know, our power goes out. So Cameron tried to go turn on the breakers thinking like maybe like, you know, just like a fuse, whatever. No, the power went out completely. And the, where we live, we end up switching carriers, like cell phone providers, because Verizon not here with Harbo, so we went to T-Mobile. But still, if we're not connected to internet our, in our home, we have no services because where we are, there's like, there's not towers around. So we have very spotty service. So we had no power. We're like thinking like, oh, the power will come back on in a few hours, whatever. Uh, so Cameron's looking at our community Facebook page and seeing like if anyone has an update or anything. And basically Samuel, people were saying like, oh, come on at two o'clock PM. Our power went out at like 1130. So 11:30, we're like, all right, that's not that bad. 2:30, we'll whatever we'll, we'll make do. All of a sudden, me and Cameron are freaking barbarians, and we're like, oh, we're so hungry. Oh, we're so this, we're so that. Oh, we, like, literally going crazy. So, we're like, we're eating snacks, whatever. We end up, like, going upstairs, and we, like, reorganize our closet, our master closet, because, like, we were so bored. We didn't know what to do. I'll insert some Snapchats from Landon and Cameron yesterday that I recorded. We literally didn't know what to do with ourselves. We had no service. I was not really able to be on Instagram or Facebook. And I think Instagram and Facebook were actually down yesterday too on top of it. But we just didn't know what to do. So we were going on with our day. All of a sudden, like, 3 o'clock comes and we're like, okay, where is the power? Like, the power is still not on yet. And at this point, our house is starting to get really cold. So without power, there's no heat. So... <laughs> We're like, okay, it's starting to get cold and our house like was at like, I want to say it was like, probably like 65 at that point, three o'clock. Mm, no, probably like, yeah, probably like 65. And so we're putting on sweaters. Like I put on a sweater, Cameron put on a sweater. I put a sweater on the baby 
and we're just like making do. And we're like, oh, the, the heat will come back on, the power will come back on. And then we start seeing that people are saying that there's not going to be power until today at 3 o'clock. So we're like, we can't go throughout the night without heat. Like, we have a baby. Like, we have a one-year-old. If it was just Cameron and I, we probably would have just, like, sucked it up, got on the covers, and just snuggled with a bunch of blankets. But we have a baby, and then we have dogs. So, I mean, the dogs kind of would have been okay. Like, they don't really realize like the cold as much because like, I mean they're dogs um they would have been fine but the baby we're like okay like that's gonna be really cold and it's gonna get really cold so we're like literally watching the temperature like drop in our house like just kept dropping and then we were gonna go to our friend China and Julian's house um but then they end up losing power and then our friend Yasmin lost power too and so she was like gonna get a hotel room and then so we started calling hotels so at this point, we really just needed somewhere warm to stay the night. Basically, I called my mom and I had her start calling around different hotels because I had like no service. So my mom's like calling around for hotels and stuff. Everywhere is booked, like everywhere. So anywhere that's like kind of like near us is just completely booked. So my mom was like calling, my mom was trying to call and then Cameron ended up driving to the end of the neighborhood to like kind of get out of the neighborhood to like see if he could find service because we have no service in our house. So he's trying to do that. My mom's calling people. My mom's trying to call me and I'm like stressed out because I'm like, I don't want to pay $170 for a hotel room. Um, but my friend ended up telling me that she got a hotel uh, at the Quality Inn that accepts dogs and it was only $99. So I was like, that's perfect. Like whatever. I just need someone to sleep, like just stay the night and sleep and be warm. Then I started stressing out because my phone is dying. So my phone ended up dying. And so I used Cameron's phone and we end up booking the hotel for the quality in. We end up paying, I want to say it was like $103 for the night. And then there was a $25 deposit or $50 deposit for each dog. I forget, but I booked the hotel. There was only a hotel room for two double beds for a pet friendly room. And so we booked it. We're like, whatever, that'll work. Me and the baby can sleep in one bed. Cameron and the dogs can sleep in the other. So we start packing up our bags and literally Cameron had to go to work today. So he had to pack all his work stuff and then we had to pack the dog stuff, my stuff, the baby stuff, Cameron stuff. We're going for one night and we literally like packed everything. And we were stressed out because it's like the house is getting freezing. By the time we actually left the house, it was 62 degrees in this house. Like it was freezing. We couldn't open up a fridge. We couldn't warm anything up. We couldn't eat anything. We have an electric stove, so it's not like we can like put the gas on or anything like so that was fun um <laughs> it was hard we were starving we were like snacking on everything like we didn't know what to do um but yeah so we end up packing our stuff driving to the hotel as we're driving to the hotel like literally the highway it was pretty it was really windy but Karen said it wasn't that bad because we ended up taking our older explorer because it's like a heavier um suv so it's like harder to pull Cameron said i don't know the hotel was like 20 minutes from us so we were driving on the highway and as we we're driving literally all you can see non-stop were fences being broken and like like fell down and stuff and then on the highway all you could see were cars in the ditches like off on the sides of the highway like they were just like, in the ditches and stuff and like that's scary and i was literally so scared i was paranoid the whole time driving on the highway we got to the hotel Cameron's like checking in and I'm sitting in the car with the baby and the dogs and like the dogs are going like nuts because they're like excited to be in a car. The baby's going nuts because like he just like wants to play and Cameron ends up coming in and like they didn't charge us for the dogs and he goes so it was like 160 or 165 dollars or something like that and I was like what the hell like really but they end up only charging us for one dog instead of two. We didn't say we had Roger because we just snuck her in <laughs> but we ended up getting into our hotel room. The hotel room smelled like piss. So it's a pet friendly room, so it smelled like pee. Um, but we got into our room, it was warm, so that's all that really mattered. So basically we got to the hotel, we checked in. All we did was sit down. We ended up warming up meals because Cameron ended up meal prepping uh, turkey meatballs like on Tuesday night. So we had them in the fridge, so we quickly opened up the fridge, grabbed the meals, and then closed the fridge and like hoped everything stayed good, which it did. Um, and then we brought those for us to eat for dinner because 
all restaurants were closed. So there was literally nowhere to eat, nothing. And at the hotel, we had a microwave, so we were able to warm up our meals. Thank God, because we were starving. So at 8 o'clock, we finished eating everything. We are hanging out. And all of a sudden, Cameron tells me that the power is back on. And I was like, what? So apparently the power got turned back on last night around like 8, 8.30. And at that point we're like, all right, well, we either go home or we just go to sleep and wake up early because I would have to bring him to work for four. So we're like, we either leave now or we wait, we sleep, whatever. Cameron was at the point where he's like, I really just don't feel like packing everything up. Let's just sleep. And I was like, that's fine. Like, whatever. I'm trying to get the baby down. So we're all like laying down trying to sleep. And the baby's like talking. He's like, ah, ah. like he doesn't like want to sleep because he's just like out of his element. He doesn't sleep in a bed with me. He sleeps in his crib. So he needs that like alone time in his crib for him to actually fall asleep. So he's talking and all of a sudden you can hear a dog barking in the hallway. So then our dogs are barking. And then Nyla, she sleeps in a cage at night because she's still trying, we're still trying to crate train her. <laughs> uh, so she sleeps in a crate. So she didn't know what to do at night. So she kept jumping on and off Karen's bed. And it was a nightmare. So then me and Cameron were like, this is gonna be a long night. And so Cameron's like, do you wanna just go home? And I was like, kind of. So we ended up making the decision to go home and um, we started packing up all our stuff and then we started leaving around like 8.30. And then we end up trying to check out and Cameron tried to, like, to get refunded his money back because our friend Yasmin went back home and she got refunded. So we tried doing the same thing and that didn't work out for us, but instead they only charged us $114 with tax. They only charged us for the room. They didn't charge us for the dogs. So that was nice of them. But yeah, we ended up coming home. So we probably got home around nine-ish, just after nine, unpacked and basically just went right to sleep. So last night was horrible. It was like the worst. And but, but when we came home, the house is still pretty chilly, but we like cranked it up as soon as we got home to like help the heat turn on and like get warm. But it was just horrible. It was just, it was a day to remember for sure. Um, honestly, I've never seen weather like that in Colorado. I've never seen weather like that, period. Like it wasn't even that bad out in the springs, but the wind was so crazy. Like literally I thought my house was going to blow away. Um, it was so heavy winded and it was just crazy and I've never seen weather like that, like I said, in Colorado. And I guess like everyone was saying how bizarre the weather. So I'm reading some stuff and um, yesterday the Gazette said more than a thousand drivers stranded in Colorado Springs area. Um, government declares state of emergency as bomb cyclone paralyzes, paralyzes front range. I don't even know what that means, but... There were so many people, there was actually even a police officer that passed away yesterday trying to help a car out of a ditch. I guess another car ended up swerving in and like hitting him and killing him. And that's like so sad and so scary. So rest in peace to him, thinking of his family. It's just, it's honestly so So sad. yeah, that was our experience yesterday. Um, I just kind of wanted to like tell you guys because a lot of you guys were asking me what's going on. But if you kind of just like stay up to date with like what the weather was yesterday, you guys can probably look it up too. The weather was insane and it was even worse the uh, further north you go. But that was our story. We're safe. Nothing happened. Um, thankfully, our house is fine. We're fine. The baby's fine. We're warm. My house is a little cold right now, but my house is actually reading 73, so it's not cold. But I'm freezing right now because I feel like there's a draft in my house. I don't know that's not that good that's not good i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat video thank you guys so much blah, blah, blah. thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one bye guys